Oh, no, no, no. Oh, probably actually the biggest damage over here. That's not good. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody, and welcome to Hurricane Ian. Today, I think we are going to see the, the big impacts. The hurricane is coming on through. There's tons of flooding right now in Fort Myers and in Tampa. I'm calling it tomorrow. That is going to be absolutely flooded. But the rain has definitely picked up. Here about four o'clock. Very windy on this side. Very windy. Rain stopped. I don't know what's going on. I'm not a meteorologist, but I think I'm gonna hold off to filming until tonight where we start to actually get some things because nothing really is happening right now, as you can see. for pizza now. Are these? Yes, you can. Oh my goodness. The emergency hatch on the bus just opened. It's going to get flooded. Oh no. I did just get goggles though. See you guys. They're having movie night indoors. How rad is that? I am now prepared for the hurricane. Good day to you, sir. And to you. My eyes look so weird. Hi, guys. Hey, baby. You ready for the hurricane, Mick? Me too. Me too. <laughs> Ladies and gents, we are getting somewhere. It is starting to get serious. Hmm. Luckily, no flooding in this area. Oh my gosh, though. The water is so very high. <gasps> Look at how high that water is. Holy cow, that is coming close to flooding. Oh my goodness. Lots and lots of tree branches on the walkway as expected. I'm just gonna go check my car to see if um, that lot is flooded. This lake look, is looking scary. Look at how high this water is. You can see how high it is because of that sign right there. Oh my gosh. That's up at least, what, five, six feet? Looks to be like some other people are up and walking, but look at all the tree branches on the floor here. The concrete. Good to see Mr. and Mr. Potato Head are good to go, but my goodness, this water is creeping up. It's supposed to continue on raining, so this area might turn into a flood zone Maybe I do go move my car because I am kind of parked next to this. Look how high that is. Oh my goodness. This is a pathway if you, you can't tell. Wow. This is why you don't park next to trees in a hurricane. 
What a mess. Got some big branches here. I don't know if I feel comfortable walking under this. There has been a lot of flooding in Kissimmee, like devastating flooding over at Universal, across the street from Universal. There has been flooding. We're kind of close to flooding here if it keeps on raining. Pretty darn big tree branch right over here. And same over here. It's still got some gusts of wind if you can't hear that. But this water level is getting scary high. Rain's still coming down steady. Got another foresty area here. This is big cleanup. I mean, look how close this water is. I mean, you guys know that's usually the sign. Look at that. It almost kind of looks like someone just mowed the grass. This is why in a hurricane you don't park next to trees. See all this? Wow. I hope if any of you guys live in Tampa or just kind of were experiencing the hurricane are uh, safe as well. Looks like my car is good. good. No flooding over here. Not really seeing many down trees. I really haven't walked around very far yet. Just kind of feels like you're walking through a forest or like a, a dead area, you know? Something that's been vacant forever. If any of you played the game, The Last of Us, it sort of kind of feels like that. Just like an overgrown hotel. I mean, look at all this mess. I don't know how long it's gonna take to pick up, but this is a lot of work. Could have been worse, so thankfully, I think we're all like safe here. I mean, Disney is the safest to be. Luckily, my parents had a reservation here and uh, I knew I wanted to stay here for the, the hurricane. Kind of lucked out in that aspect. Pretty much our first major flooding area. This isn't even major compared to other areas. Yeah, not bad at all. Rain just picked up though. Goofy did hang in there, so that's always good to see. <laughs> There's our, our little bit of some good news. Food court isn't open until noon. Empty food court. As far as anything goes, not that I know of, I don't think we lost any power at all. If we did, the backup generators went on right away, but it kind of slept through the hurricane. It was pretty loud. I think it downgraded to a, uh, a category one hurricane. So it really wasn't what Tampa experienced or Cape Coral experienced to the slightest. so eerie to see the front of Pop Century just not popping. Can't go inside. Just kidding, the lobby is open, just the food court is closed. Oh wow, we've got our first downed trees.
Wow. It's like a jungle now. We do have a flash flood warning still. That's gonna be the only thing that we have to worry about right now is just the flood. I don't think I'm comfortable walking through here. I just don't want anything to fall over. That's flooding. Primarily over here at Pop, the worst sections are by the lake, by like all of the trees. Let's hop on over to Art and um, see what, had, what happened over there. Just got a notification on my phone that a flash flood warning is until I believe 1130 now today. They've extended it even more. Like I said, I think that's my big concern, obviously, because the storm has kind of passed. Flooding is the big concern now. People really did not, but it looks like they did. They left their trays on top of the garbage can. Come on. You can't be that, like, dumb. <laughs> really? None you know, of the chairs or umbrellas blew away, so they did a good job at tidying those down. The sign didn't make it. Chilled water return. No idea where that came from. Lots of palm tree debris as well. A lot windier when you don't have the buildings blocking the wind, but oh my gosh. Look at how high this water is. We are very close to flooding. That's the water. A couple more inches from here. And look at how high it is on the Skyliner building. Very, very windy. I mean, you can see how close it is. It's just coming on over. And the rain's not stopping all day, so it very well might. Let's pray and hope not, because that would get bad. But Disney does think of these things when they build these kind of structures, because it has to actually raise a couple more feet to actually start pouring on in. That's why there's hills here. Disney, safest place to be during a hurricane. Now, as far as when the parks open, Disney actually doesn't have any hours posted for Friday. There's no way to make a park reservation. So we've got no idea if the parks are even opening up on a Friday. They've got a lot of cleanup to do. I, 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 I kind of see right now they might not be opening on Friday as well. Skyliner held up. Ooh. Art Animation isn't really a tree uh, resort. So there might not be that much debris everywhere. I'm going to start this way. Put some dogs out. Those doggies. That tree is not going to be thirsty anymore soon. He's gonna be good for days. Little Mermaid section seems to be intact, but I think it's because they're sort of kind of used to being wet, you know, under the sea. There's nothing for them. <laughs> they are, they're cruising. Big flood zone. Kind of a good look to see the wind gusts that are going on at the moment. Literally walking in to the Lion King jungle now. Wow. This is probably gonna be like the only section that they really kind of have to fix. Look at this. Oh. 
All right, well, I'm gonna move this so it doesn't hit anybody. Honestly, it's not that bad over here. It's worse over at Pop. And we do have a big down tree here. That's crazy. How did that happen? I don't know. Holy cow. Look at that. No way. Simba's even up there with Timon and Pumbaa. Like, what? Obviously, that's been there before. <laughs> Try to make it a little light. Or... Thankfully, it's not as bad as I thought. Our animation really held up. Got about one more section to go, though. Where in the world did this tree branch come from? Did it come from that? Huh. It don't look the same to me. No one's swimming today. The gift shop at Art is closed. However, at Pop Century, it's open, but wow. Empty lobby. Let's have a couple people. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, probably actually the biggest damage over here. Over by the pool bar. What is this? Oh, this is, uh, I think, the tattoo hair braiding station. Oh, no. That thing just went over. Wow. That's not good. That is not good at all. It's on the floor here. They're binders. The hair braids. The tattoo book. Yikes. Big yikes. I wonder if they can just flip this back and resume normal operation. Cause it's kind of just like a stand, you know? It doesn't seem to be any damages besides it being kind of on its side. Kind of standard during a hurricane. There's more of the palm tree debris. That's a lot though, just for two trees. Not much drainage in Cars Land, but you can kind of see how high the water goes up. It goes up above the sprinkler. Mater's still good. The legend, Lightning McQueen, ka -chow, is all good. Just as I say everything is good over here, got a big flood zone. Not big, but you know what I mean for the standard of Disney World. And the light's down. Kind of don't want to walk through this. Cause this could be like a electrocution zone. This is really unsafe actually. There's wires out. Wow. I feel like I could get electrocuted by going through that water. Well, with all of that, we're gonna have to see what comes up today. What more news comes out with Walt Disney World. When are they gonna be reopening? How much unfortunate damage there was. To me, there really doesn't seem to be that bad according to like you know tampa what we've seen further west but lots of damage for sure and uh, i guess we'll just see what the day takes us and um food court opens soon so that's kind of nice that we can actually go and get food wow cleanup has already begun the quick and easy power wash A couple hours have passed and it's actually really chilly out here. It's it's currently still raining, a steady drizzle, but they've been cleaning up the resort and it kinda kinda looks back to normal. Let you guys see all this. Still don't have any news if Disney's opening tomorrow. Ooh, it's cold. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. If you guys don't, go ahead and follow my Twitter and um, Instagram. Well, I think by the time this video goes up, we're definitely gonna know if Disney's opening today or not. Which, for that meaning, I mean by Friday. When you guys see this video. But uh, as of filming this, Disney is still closed. The resort is looking so good. 
an unbelievable job of cleaning up so fast. I wanna go to like the most like branchy area that we just saw. Holy camoly. They've already cleaned it up. Power washed everything. You can see it's kind of on the side of the grass now. But it's all cleared already. That was quick work. Quick work. It's a big branch. The airport is still closed today. I've been seeing some people actually leave the resort. I don't know if you can do that yet. Oh, we found a place that's not cleaned up yet. Right here. I think it's because this isn't like a main walking way. So they haven't really touched this up yet. This is actually the power washing. Those are what do the power washing right there. It almost looks just like a regular day now. Kind of crazy, but um, I'm hoping all you guys are safe. Those who live in Tampa and have experienced. Oh my God, a little bunny. Are you okay, buddy? Oh my gosh, where's your mama? Oh, you look so cold. I hope you make it, buddy. No way. Oh my gosh. This is so cute, but sad. Where's your mom? I'm not your mom, buddy. I'm not your dad. Oh my goodness. Go, buddy. Go in there. Go live a good life. You experienced something crazy and survived. I'm so happy this little guy survived, but he's shaking. He's so cold. starting to put all of the big debris and branches and corners and I'm sure people come and collect it. However, it's kind of like a day just like yesterday. I mean, probably about mm, 10 degrees colder. It's about 70, 68 degrees. Pool still closed. I want to hop on in to the lobby to see if we have any activities or characters like we've seen the other day. Still feel for that little baby bunny. <laughs> These drawing fans are now placed outside of the entrance of the lobby. That's a new addition. I wonder if they sell towels. Still got towels and it looks like a dance party. No characters, just a dance party. But we still got free arcade. That's what it's all about, baby. The only thing that they have posted is the hours of the shopping and dining and the arcade, which will close at 11. No other activities at all. Cast members just gave me some free little cuties. They're <laughs> just out there handing them out. Cool. Food court finally looks like a normal food court. Holy cow, big difference. Big difference. Doesn't look like they're also giving out those free, or sorry, not free, well, practically free. Those $5 meal kits, it's all back up to the normal prices and normal offerings. Good news is Mickey held up. Back to Disney we go, hopefully tomorrow. We shall find out if Disney's closed. With all of that, um, everything's kind of cleaned up as you guys can see throughout the hotel. I mean, I don't think we got hit nearly as bad as we thought simply because of the fact that um, I think it got downgraded to, downgraded to a tropical storm, but there are still a lot of damages. The water is still pretty high. I think the flooding um, warning is gone now, but I think it's just to recovery from here. But um, we'll see if the Magic Kingdom or Disney World in general opens up tomorrow. I'm very hopeful that we will be, but prayers out to everybody who has been affected by this hurricane. And I'm, I'm so thankful that I was able to stay here at Disney Resort just because it's the safest place you can be. Uh, way safer. Way safer than a house and an apartment. But thanks for all you guys' support. I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully at a Disney Park. If not, um, we'll just see what happens tomorrow, I guess.